British water aquaculture along coastal regions is the world's fastest growing food producing sector, boasting an annual growth rate of 6.5%. In India, the aquaculture sector has achieved a remarkable six-fold increase over the past two decades, contributing a massive 5 million tons to the country's 9.5 million tons of fish production. The potential for exponential growth in this sector is all too evident when one considers the vast brackish water resources available in India. 1.2 million hectares to be precise, of which only 14% is presently utilized. Considerable resource of brackish water resource along the coastal states of our country is about 1.2 million hectares and inland saline areas of about 8 million hectares. That means around 1, 1 lakh plus hectares are only being utilized. So the scope and expansion of brackish water aquaculture in India is highly promising. Having 857 million rural population with immediate access to brackish water resources, opportunities in terms of economic, nutritional and social benefits are enormous in this country. The idea of aquaculture farming first germinated in India in the early 1980s. Our country scientists introduced some remarkable initiatives to help propel our nation closer to its goal of economic and nutritional self-sustainability. Success and growth of aquaculture projects using modern techniques proved to be thrice as financially feasible when compared to agriculture, with much fewer demands expected from resources, infrastructure and manpower. Appreciating the potential of this dynamic farming method, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICAR, established Central Institute of Brackish Water Aquaculture, SIBA, in April 1987, began to explore, demonstrate and develop viable technologies to stakeholders, both in brackish water aquaculture as well as in other allied sectors. Strategically headquartered in Chennai, the epicenter of brackish water farming, SIBA has experimental field stations at Muttukaru in Tamil Nadu, a regional research center in Kakdweep, West Bengal, and a new upcoming center in Gujarat on the west coast of India. SIBA serves as the one and only nodal R&D agency for the development of brackish water aquaculture in the country under the ICAR Government of India. The research and development divisions at SIBA have technological expertise on par with the best in the world and laboratories equipped with cutting-edge equipment to help them tackle R&D issues on a proactive basis. The internationally acclaimed R&D divisions at SIBA are Finfish Culture Division FCD, Crustacean Culture Division CCD, Nutrition, Genetics and Biotechnology Division NGBD, Aquatic Animal Health and Environment Division AAHED and Social Sciences Division SSD. The dedication of around 65 scientists and over a hundred technical and non-technical staff have enabled SIBA to be the success it is today. SIBA has undertaken a substantial number of research projects through both institutional and external fundings. Providing an extensive and consistent research platform for scientists and research students to interact with aquaculture practitioners. The objectives of SIBA To live up to the trust that the Government of India has placed upon it and ensure that SIBA's technological breakthroughs are made accessible to traditional fisher folk. SIBA's aims and objectives include Fish production to achieve nutritional security Economically viable and environmentally sustainable farming Strategic and applied research for technological backstopping Scientific, socially acceptable and inclusive farming Climate friendly and resilient farming Diversification in species and farming systems Technology transfer knowledge sharing and startup initiatives empowering rural poor and attracting youth human resources and skill development linkage with stakeholders and public private partnership 
policy planning support for governments siba focuses on growing the capacity of the indian brackish water aquaculture sector through a schematic approach of planned geographic expansion species diversification and sustainable intensification all supported by adequate technological backstopping laboratories each research division has state of the art laboratories to substantiate evolving theories library extensive research material from around the world is available at libraries set up at all research centers of siba the library of the aquaculture knowledge management unit looks after digital and other multimedia tools to connect with all stakeholders as well as siba's website software requirement and development also falls under the aquaculture knowledge management unit the experimental field station at Muttukadu, 35 kilometers away from Chennai in Tamil Nadu, has one of the best and most modern and holistic brackish water aquaculture facilities in India. Here too, state-of-the-art facilities abound. The experimental station facilities here are an experimental shrimp hatchery of 10 million capacity, finfish broodstock holding facility, a finfish hatchery, a mud crab hatchery, algal culture and live feed labs. Crustacean Biology and Reproductive Physiology Lab, a Soil and Water Lab, Feed Biotechnology, a Pilot Scale Feed Mill. Muttukadu Station has a modern experimental feed mill capable of producing 500 kilograms of pelleted feed and 250 kilograms of extruded feed per hour for verification and demonstration purposes. Proving to all concerned that economically viable research is indeed the mandate of SIBA. Forever at the forefront with cutting-edge research, the technologies developed at Muttukadu Station are a boon for medium, small and marginal farmers. The Kakdweep Research Center, 90 kilometers away from Kolkata, West Bengal, is another station under SIBA that is also similarly equipped with the following facilities. Grow out farm facilities for finfish and shellfish. Backyard hatchery for finfish. Biology, nutrition, animal health and analytical labs. Feed mill, wet labs. The research center at Katwip focuses on refinement of technology for improving farming systems and practices and developing grow out production systems for different finfish and shellfish species. To extend the research activities of SIBA to the west coast, a collaborative project has also been undertaken along with the Navsari Agricultural University, Gujarat. SIBA has successfully conducted research on other shrimp species too, namely Vanname, Banana, Kuruma and the Indian White Shrimp. SIBA R&D's focus on diversification in finfish farming has led to many breakthroughs. SIBA developed the breeding and seed production of sea bass for the first time in the country during the late 1990s. Following this, SIBA has developed breeding techniques for spotted scat, mono angel, cobia and pearl spot. Recently, achieving another first in the country, SIBA made a major breakthrough in the captive breeding and larval rearing of milkfish, Chanos Chanos, a popular native food fish widely distributed along the Indian coast. The commercialization of the first indigenous tiger shrimp feed for the Indian shrimp farming sector in early 2000 and recently for the Vanname Plus. The indigenous desi made in India version of cost-effective formulated feed for Vaname. The Aquatic Animal Health and Environment Division of SIBA was the first to commercialize a white spot syndrome diagnostic kit to a premier biotechnology company in the year 2002. Helping develop and implement partnership farming ventures with local villages, 
is yet another successful and popular initiative of SIBA. SIBA has also helped women entrepreneurs establish themselves in shrimp farming, mud crab fattening, farming of carp and ornamental fish culture, freshwater prawn farming and value-added fish food development. Planning and Development Besides being a top-of-line research facility, SIBA also has a business planning and development unit which ensures that technologies developed by SIBA are also financially viable and delivered to end users. Technology Commercialization SIBA has already commercialized many of its technologies developed in-house. The Nutrition, Genetics and Biotechnology Division is an excellent example of viable commercialization of technology developed in-house. Consultancy Services Technology Transfer Commercial consultancy services on aquaculture, aquatic disease diagnostics, fish nutrition and environmental assessments are carried out by SIBA as per ICAR guidelines. Patents Dedicated research carried out at our facilities have also resulted in multiple patents being applied for and granted to SIBA. Training programs Training courses in brackish water aquaculture are conducted throughout the year by SIVA. They are offered to state and central government officials, faculty members and students of fishery colleges and agricultural universities, and also farmers and entrepreneurs engaged in brackish water shellfish and finfish aquaculture. Brainstorming sessions, interactive meetings, farmers meets, demonstrations, hands-on training, workshops and exhibitions are also conducted from time to time. With aquaculture expected to shoulder a major percentage of the world's nutritional sustainability shortfall, every aquaculture research facility has a vital role to play. We are motivated by a sense of responsibility to develop a sustainable brackish water aquaculture system which is profitable, environmentally friendly and inclusive which can contribute to the blue revolution and linked economic growth of India. Having contributed so substantially to the sustained and exponential growth of India's brackish water aquaculture production, SIBA is all set to bring about a new paradigm with the slogan, Brackish Water Aquaculture, for food, employment and prosperity, that every aquaculture research facility in the country would aspire to emulate.